Okay, we are going to get started using Digital Performer as our MIDI sequencing software. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my dock and I'm going to find the icon for that application. Here it is here. And uh, we're using Digital Performer 7.12. I'm going to click once on that icon. You can see it starts to bounce and a bluish white light go, uh, will appear underneath the icon. And that means that the application is opening. And in just a second, I will get a screen here. Here it is. And what this is, is offering to open the last project that I, I was working on. And if that's what I wanted to do, I would just click on the Digital Performer icon and then click Open. But that's not what I'm going to want to do. I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to click New. And then I'm going to get this window, which is very important. It's going to uh, ask me where... I want to save it and what I'm going to name it. First, what I'm going to name it. For my classes, you will always start with your last name and then you'll title the project something. And I'm going to, call, I'm going to say this is test 240. I've been doing a bunch of these. And I'm going to save it in documents, which is where I'm going to recommend you save your projects. If this doesn't say documents, just click on those up and down arrows and then find documents and select that and then I'm just going to click save and this will open up the default view um, I have two windows in this view this is called my tracks window and this is my transport here and I can move these around I can, if I want I can also resize this window here just by clicking in the lower right hand corner and dragging it out and I'm going to do that and make it larger and when Digital Performer opens up, it uh, has already created some tracks for us, some MIDI tracks and some audio tracks. And this is not how I like to work. I like to create my own tracks uh, one at a time as I go and as I need them. So I'm going to delete the existing tracks. I'm just going to click on track one and hold my mouse down and I'm going to drag this down until all these tracks are highlighted and selected. I'm going to go up to Project and then go down to delete tracks and I click that and boom they're gone now I'm going to go back up to project and I'm going to add a track of my own project add track MIDI track and you can see that it's created a new track for us here and let's look at these columns right quickly first record enable and you can see that our track is record enabled the, uh, the red arrow is on if it were off it would look gray like that and I would just click on it to turn it on and then next we'll see in the play enable column that our track is play enabled and once again if it were not I would just click on it and you can see the blue arrow and now it's play enabled now we're going to go to the output column and we're going to choose the synthesizer that we're going to use to get our sounds from and I'm just going to click on this and you'll have several choices on yours you're going to want to select Juno D and when I click when I uh, mouse on that you can see it opens up a side window here and I've got 16 choices these are our individual channels I have 16 different channels each one of those can get a different sound so I can get up to 16 sounds happening at one time and why don't you just start by selecting Juno D1 I'm not going to do that because you can see this is in italics and that means that my Juno D is not available to me I'm doing this at home and I don't have a Juno D at home so I'm going to use the Apple Software Synthesizer which I do have available to me and I'm just going to go over to Apple Software Synth 1 you're going to do Juno D1 now I'm going to go over here to the patch column I'm going to click on that and you will see a set of eight banks on the Juno D and, in, and uh, as you go to each bank it will open up a side uh, window there and you can see that each bank will have a number of different sounds as many as 128 and some banks will have fewer sounds and you can just uh, go through and select one that you'd like to listen to so I'm just going to select my acoustic grand piano there and maybe I'll just play a couple notes on here So that works, 
and then maybe I'll just go and listen to some more of these different sounds. I don't know. I'll just I'll just pick something out here. Uh, how about a little banjo maybe? And we'll see how that sounds. <laughs> Okay, and then you can just go through and audition the various sounds in the different banks as you uh, and, and explore and see what all is within that particular synthesizer. After you're done working, <clears throat> we're going to go up to File and Save, and this will, will save the settings that we have. And then we'll go back to File, Close, and then we'll go to Digital Performer, Quit Digital Performer.